Howdy folks, it's RJ Helms here with episode 13 of Let's Play Open TTD with the Furs Industry set. Just to recap, in the last episode, we had built up our lumber industry was the big thing we accomplished. So we got a couple of forests here connected. This BNGW is a forest with a modest amount of production. And also this STPH station here has a forest as well. This station is huge because it also services a farm, a glassworks, and a furniture factory. So it's built bigger than I need it to be for now, just so that in the um, in the fullness of time we can service that up. One thing I'm actually somewhat nervous about here is because these two both take farm supplies, the forest and the arable farm. I'm not sure which one's actually going to be the one that gets farm supplies when I drop them off, but we can, we'll find out. Um, these are going down to a lumber mill here, which just takes wood, or a sawmill, sorry, and then we have to take the lumber somewhere, but I think that goes to a furniture factory, um, and that will be our goal for this episode, is to get those farm supplies hooked up, get that lumber going somewhere, and maybe finish that chain. So first things first is the farm supplies. So let's look at our farm supplies trains. We have a couple already going. It's going to be this guy. It's the modern locomotive that we're using and still have plenty of farm supplies here. So I will do the clone, but not the um, control click and make a new group, which is going to be farm supplies from SKHE to BNGW. Put this new train in there and hook up the order and get you started. Set that window aside so I can see what it's doing. And then one more to STPH. Looks like this might need more platforms, actually. So the clone, you are going to be Farm Supplies SKHE to, what did I say, STPH? Was that what it's called? We'll find it in a second. Yes. And you go into there. I'll keep you up as well. And I am actually going to put... Make sure I'm using Electrified Railway. I actually put one, two more platforms on this. One on each side. And be sure to signal these up. Like so. This is still being a little ugly. Um, let's come back to that later. Probably not in this episode. So I'm also going to want to watch this. Because I might just be throwing good farm supplies after bad by sending some to the, um, the arable farm. But we'll see how that works. These guys are going to have a bit of an easier cut time because they're going out this way. What are you? You are a metal train. This is definitely becoming kind of the trouble zone. And you are, keep this up, you are the 
station that's going to be producing lumber. So lumber goes to a lumber yard where it produces engineering supplies and building materials. I don't particularly care about either of those right now. Or to a furniture factory where it produces goods. So let's look just for a furniture factory. Wouldn't you know it, there's already one here. Just back there. Okay, so we'll do that with a tram. Um, streetcar construction, street construction, excuse me. What was the length of those nine car trams over here? I gave you four tiles? Looks like they'll fit in three, though. Oh, and it depends on the specific model of tram. So I will give them four. I want these each to have two rows of stations. So you'll be STPW. I need a streetcar depot. Okay, so let's go over to here and get the lumber train into service. Looks like the wood chip hopper is the one to go for, which means I'm still looking at the Selkirk as my locomotive of choice. Caboose. So you're gonna full load at MNLW. You're gonna transfer here. Transfer and leave empty. You'll need a group. Your group is lumber MNLW transfer at SDPH. In you go. You'll wait there for a while, I'm sure, but that's fine. And then here, to make sure that's ready, I'm going to want a... Yeah, this Ishizuchi Industrial Tram. Refit for a medium-sized lumber train. And you're going to full load here and unload there. And so you are lumber STPH to STPW. Now, once that's producing, I'll have plenty of time. To get in the market for a 
can produce some goods. I can actually send manufacturing supplies here too. Hmm. Are there any more surplus manufacturing supplies? I don't believe so. VNAW is my manufacturing supply place. It takes metal and chemicals. Am I taking chemicals to VNAW? Yes, I am, okay. Train 44, what's your problem? To DNGS. You do have a path to continue. That didn't go anywhere. I won't do the manufacturing supplies just yet. Train 16, what's your problem? You're going to DNGW. I think this is telling me things are waiting for so long, actually, that it's, um... Breaking the Pathfinder. It's all happening right here. Here's a thought. What if I just doubled up on these, actually? Just some of the things that were carrying through didn't actually have to block off the, uh... The middle ones, right? So they would keep these arms free. I don't know if that helps anything, but it might. <laughs> okay, well, while we wait. That's not what I wanted to do, but I never refit you, right? No, I was wondering why that wasn't picking anything up. It is indeed, because I never refit it. So yeah, send you to a depot. Oh, that's a pain. With these industry sets that require tons of refitting, I make that mistake all the time. Alright, but let's look at what we have as far as awaiting cargo value. Or waiting cargo. STP and SKH are still the two big ones. Are passengers trains doing by timetable delay? 56 days early, that's the good end. 19 days later, oh, that's all okay. Okay, let's give you a new one of these. Start you in a bit, a little bit in the future. STNM, still with the livestock. <laughs> okay, I'll give you one more livestock train. Um, TRPM with ore. Okay, called iron. That's making 544 tons a month, so I believe it. And that's a little train, so I'm okay with that. That I don't really like. Um, 
That's a big train losing money. Little one don't care. Little one don't care. Little one don't care. Hmm. The engineers and the farm supplies, obviously they... I'm fine with them being in abundance. My BNGW wood could use a new wood train. Both of these actually looks like could use a new wood train. STPH is the other one that could use a new wood train. Both of those are somewhat expected. I'm not sure where this train is trying to go that it's spending so long waiting for a free path. Okay. The NGS is tons of boxite available. Hmm. I'm not so sure I actually want any more of those. Most of these things I think are doing okay. Um, STPI with passengers. Is a little concerning. I'm gonna put two more of these on. With some start time ways in the future. And this is starting to bog down a bit, so I will not with the streetcar, with a road. Let's put in another bus bay. That guy's not timetabled yet. This is backed up all the way, all the way back to here. <laughs> okay, you're here. Okay, finally. So you can be refit to lumber and get started and actually do what you're supposed to do. A new food train, possibly. I can improve this a little bit, I think. Well, for certain, actually. Um, let's do that while we're here. This seems to be a sticking point where I'm losing some velocity, so. Improve that while we can. <laughs> now, this monstrosity can go away. Oh, 
must have some measure of normal signals. here. There we go. Um, all right. How are these wood trains doing? This one's full, making its way. Yeah, so I think next episode, finding a better junction for this junction might be an order of business. This one seems to be holding all right. That's going to improve things here, that improvement I made down here. Yeah, like here I don't believe there's suddenly a huge increase in bona fide production of plant fibers. As much as it's just the matter that uh, my um, my things are getting bogged down. Okay, let's do one less look at capacity. I don't want to change that for for that reason. Uh, chemicals and petroleum. Is your production stepped up? Oh, it has a little bit. Okay. Um, but you know what, actually? I am just going to fast forward to this. I want to make sure that this is picking things up now. Oh, it cheated. <laughs> Good work, train. And I'm going to end the episode after that, because this has gone on for about as long as I want to. Like I say, while I'm pre-recording these ahead of the holidays, I want to kind of keep them around 20 minutes just to keep the time I'm spending recording reasonable. So I'm just going to make sure this guy's actually picking up lumber, you know that that's working properly, and then we will call it. Come on, come on. And hey, presto, it is. Beautiful. So in the next episode, we will get the... <laughs> we will get the this tram working. We'll start having some goods produced here. We'll need to take them somewhere. We can also think about manufacturing supplies. Okay, perfect. And this seems to be going to here, not to there. So it knows... This is an industry I'm not servicing, so that's, uh... Oh, this is an industry I'm not servicing, so that's great. That's exactly what I hoped the game would do, but I wasn't sure it was that smart. We're going to see tons of wood piling up, but that's fine. So that's been, um, episode 13 of Let's Play OpenTG with the first industry set, excuse me. So next episode, we'll get this goods bit working. Well, I'll try to come up with a strategy for improving this junction, because it's not hacking it, and I think this is going to be our our test case, and then this one can get improved later. Um, the random boats are fun. I mean, they look really cool to watch, but it is ha causing us some grief, especially with the knock-on effect of it slowing down this whole line. 
so we need improvements there for sure. Um, but that'll all be in the next episode. Uh, so until then, I have been RJ Helms. Please leave any comments with any thoughts or feedback you have, any suggestions for ways that I could improve this junction, if there's particular types of junctions that you uh, like to see or like to use in your own games, let me know. Uh, Four-way junctions in particular, these things like this are not something that I'm terribly good at building, as you may have noticed. Um, Three-way junctions, even you know, full three-way junctions like this one, I can manage. They might look a little silly, but this design, this kind of double loop, is perfectly robust. Um, but with four ways, a lot more challenges get into place. So I'd really appreciate any any suggestions you guys have on how to uh, put them together. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things like this in the future. And I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.